I'm Paul Taylor. I'm the CEO of Dynex Semiconductor Limited. Dynex supplies high power semiconductor components, for example, thyristors and IGBT power modules. And these are used in power conditioning. And for example, they're used to drive motors in railways and in marine vessels. They're also used to condition power in large industrial machinery and also to keep the electric power grid running. Well, for this particular project, we really lack the knowledge for data acquisition. We had some understanding of it. We wanted to apply the latest principles to acquire the data from the test equipment. And so we approached Nottingham University to help us to identify someone who could implant that know-how into the business. Hi, my name is Imran Yaqub and uh, I'm KTB Associate. My project is about building a state-of-the-art automated data acquisition system by virtue of which we can reduce the amount of the scrappage that's been made during the process of manufacturing semiconductor devices and also to give feedback to the device designers so that they can improve the reliability of the devices. Hello, my name is John Clare. I'm a professor of power electronics at the University of Nottingham. Well, the way the KTP project works is that there's an associate who works uh, mainly at the company, uh, but he's an, an employee of the university and he's supervised by the university uh, staff. As part of our uh, research into power device technologies, particularly the work of uh, Professor Johnson, we spend a lot of time looking at data acquisition for uh, power devices and particularly automating data acquisition and working out how to uh, deal with the data that you acquire and how to analyze that. And that's one of the key requirements for the uh, project which we're running here at Dynex, where they want to automate the testing of, of large thyristors. And in order to do that in a, in a fairly automatic way, they need a lot of uh, data processing, which is software controlled. And those are the sort of skills that we've built up over the years, which we're transferring to the company in this project. We've run approximately 15 collaborative projects with Dynex over the last 10 years, uh, funded from a number of sources, including the European community, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, and we've had a number of collaborative projects with Dynex and other companies under the Technology Strategy Board Technology Programme. We have a lot of engagement with Dynex, and it's a company which we, we very much enjoy working with. Well, Dynex is very much based on research and development. We develop our own technology and our own products. So extending our knowledge base is very important, and we do look towards working with universities um, to help us to expand our know-how. Obviously, we were very happy with the first KTP, and we went on to the second, and now we're moving on to the third. So our experience is very, 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 very good. So certainly, yes, I mean, I would recommend this approach to other businesses hoping to extend their know-how.